Republican flag, Milltown Cemetery, as we know it, the County Antrim Memorial. Last year, we decided to renew the memorial. It was old, it was tired, and it, it, it really wasn't fit for purpose, particularly with the men and women that lie in, in the memorial and in the, in the graves here. What we did was taken away the old sandstone uh, and replaced it with polished black granite. We, we did the, the names now in chronological order, which made it much, much easier for people to come along and look for the, the, their loved ones and, and find the details of their loved ones and everything else. Along with the new plot that we put together here, we erected a new flagpole, uh, which I'm very proud to say is flying beautifully behind me today. We change the flag on a very regular basis. Uh, unfortunately, it's open to the elements here, and uh, sometimes the elements aren't too kind on it. But again, when it needs replaced, the first thing we do is replace it. The feedback that we have had from uh, the families of our Patriot dead has been absolutely fantastic. Uh, and, and, and believe it or not, we get more out of that than anything else. Uh, it has been a, a, a quite a, a considerable amount of work to be taken on at any time uh, and quite considerable expense. Uh, and speaking of expense, we have funded an awful lot of it by the production of this small mo 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 memento, which is a, a replica of the actual County Antrim Memorial. These are still available. We have a limited edition. There's only going to be 500 of them ever made. But they're, they're, I'm, I'm sure you'll agree, they're a lovely wee keepsake for anyone, especially for, for the families of our, our Patriot dead. We've also done a lot of work on the main plot across the way here. Uh, we renewed all the headstones. We've, we've did all the, redone the writing and, and tidied it all up. There's still more work to be done. Uh, we have some 36 graves to attend to, as well as our, our plots and memorials. So it's, it's an ongoing project. It's a labour of love for us. Uh, and as I said initially, what we would like to see is for the people of Belfast particularly to take ownership of this. It's not just ours, it's theirs and it's their heritage. And we would like to see them involved. So there's a, there's a job and there's a work for everyone, as Bobby Sands said, in this struggle. Well, it's the same in the National Graves Association. It's for Amelia Myogafe.